Hi Taurus. So this is weird. Before I even get started, something just flipped right out. But it went back in the deck. It's like upside down in here somewhere. So be patient with me. By the way, this video is for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Moon and Venus are going to be the most accurate in my opinion. Not that my opinion matters. <laughs> okay. And. And. Um, this is also if you're spying on a Taurus, which I might be. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <coughs> okay. So they're saying um, something's not over yet. Hmm. Way to set the tone, like, all mysteriously, spirit. What's December all about? They're like... <laughs> Oh boy. The, uh, basically, they're reiterating it. Whatever it is that you're trying to walk away from towards something better, um, you're not quite there yet. It's still a challenge. And they're like, this could be like your own vision of who you are, actually. Actually. You know, if you're trying to relinquish like the feeling of needing to control certain situations or people or things like that, they're like, you're trying to move on from it but you're not super good at it yet. Like you're working towards it, but you're not done learning this lesson. It's essentially what they're saying. So you can apply that however you want, but that's just something in general that maybe one or 10 or 50 Tauruses needed to know in specific. Okay, so in general in the month of December, what can we expect in regards to love? Oh boy. So, whether you're single or coupled, you might be feeling like certain aspects of your relationship or like your journey to find your soulmate are just not necessarily successful. And you might be taking this a little bit too personally, like um, instead of saying like, this is not working, it's more like I'm not working. Like people don't like me, you know, or my partner, um, you know, like so example, for example, if you're single, it's like people just aren't into me or they don't appreciate me, or things like that. And if, or they don't think I'm pretty enough, like all of these sad things. But then, like, if you're in a relationship, you're just like, oh man, like, this isn't working. It wasn't what I hoped that it would be. Some of you might be feeling that way, but then not really doing anything about it, trying not to think about it. And they're like, because you don't want to disrupt the harmony of, like, how things are going. Like, you might be, like, barely, like, holding certain things together in your life. Um, but like as far as balance goes, like your work-life balance could be fucked up, like um, your emotions could be a little bit all over the place. What they're saying is that, you know, through the law of attraction and, um, or the secret, they're like, things can start moving forward in a very positive direction. And so on the one hand, we're learning how to let go of control of certain situations or people or circumstances, um, and then shifting into this area of like, controlling your mindset. So no wonder you feel like kind of goofball right now. We're not like you're <laughs> very successful at it because previously you might've been taking physical actions to try to control things like saying, like trying to convince your partner, like being like a little bit stubborn, like, Hey, um, you know, I really think this is the best way to do this. And they don't agree. And you're like, I really think this is the best way to do this. And like, I really would kind of demand that you do this this way. And you know what? I'm even going to do this thing for you. So it's easier for you to do it this way kind of a thing. Um, and so they're like, you're trying to learn how to shift away from that and instead just make positive affirmations for the things that you do want instead of trying to change the physical circumstances and people around you. Now, if you're not coupled, it's still the same thing. Like I'm trying to control like this outcome of like where the conversation's going to go when I'm on a date or, um, you know, trying to, you know, maybe, maybe this person says that they're looking for a long-term relationship and I'm trying to keep it like fun and casual and I'm trying to convince them that that's okay. And they're like, you're really trying to like shift away from that and just make more positive affirmations for the things that you do want, which would be better for you. They're like, actually, it's not that hard to do. It sounds like it is, but it will be easy for you because you're so good at controlling things. And that's not a diss, I promise. They're like, don't even worry about things, you know? Um, they're like, but this shift in mindset is very important for you in the month of December. And, you know, you have to be a little bit patient for yourself, with yourself to see how things unfold, but it's totally, totally going to work for you. Now, what are going to be the challenges that you face in the month of December? 
and they're like um, the strength in that, like having tact in your communication with others, um, and like also to have fun because you, when you're feeling down and unsuccessful and like kind of beating yourself up a little bit, it's hard to really focus on the things that you desire and the things that are great and expressing gratitude. So if there was ever a month for a Taurus to start a gratitude journal, December would be great. Um, what are the things that are working for you in the month of December in regards to your love life? And I get you're not suspicious, paranoid, anything like that. Um, it's not like, I wonder if this is you or your partner. This is you. You're not, um, they're like, well, here, let me get one more for context. All right. So they're like, you're a really strong person, okay? And you're a little bit calculated and smart, right? Um, and not in a malicious way. What they're saying is you're deceiving yourself if you're not really remembering that about yourself. You know, like looking at your past experiences, like when you've been able to like manipulate a situation or convince somebody of something, not to say I don't mean that in a negative way. Like I feel like I'm making Tauruses feel bad. That's not my intent. But what I'm saying is like when you can handle the situation in a very Taurus way so that things go in a very positive direction, like that is proof right here that you could do that with your mindset. Like you're so good at this. And so they're saying like a lot of you just aren't doing that. And that's where you need to be going. Okay, does that make sense? Now, let's see what else we have here. They're like patience is necessary. Um, and this month is just going to be a little bit challenging in regards to like a lot of things and it probably is something you can blame on the mercury retrograde that takes up most of the month now um what is the best way out of these challenges that you're going to be facing and they're like really honestly don't worry about shit don't let it get to you focus on those positives so like i said with the gratitude journal going to be huge for you they say like you're seeing everything exactly as it as it is, you're really clear. Um, for the most part, you have a really good balance with your emotions and like the distinction between like what it what is like hype, what is my feeling, and like what is reality. Like you're not gonna go like ballistic and lose your mind over something that you shouldn't. So that's great. But they're they are saying though, like even though things might be a little bit challenging emotionally previously, or kind of in the beginning of the month of December. Um, by the end, you're going to be like feeling a lot more calm and peaceful and at ease, especially if you gratitude journal. So that was kind of a weird reading for y'all, but let's see what your affirmations are in the month of December to help you um, either strengthen your love for your partner or to attract a new one into your life. And they say commitment. You need to dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being. And so, like I said, gratitude journaling huge because that's an expression of love for the things that you do have so you attract more of them into your life so focus on the positives love bugs and i can't wait to see what just what uh, january brings for you bye